Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson. You're watching Reality Survival. And today we are going to talk about FEMA camps and some of the FEMA camp videos that are on YouTube. And what I'd like to do is make an attempt to show you guys how easy it is to debunk these videos. Now I'm just picking one of them. Uh, it's one that I recently saw on social media. Some guys were talking about how, oh my gosh, here's another FEMA camp. So uh, with that, we'll go ahead and get started on this. If you have a short attention span, this video is not going to be for you. It's going to take some time and it's going to require more than three minutes to go through this. So either put it on, you know, fast forward or times two or just go find another video. I also want to take a minute to, to explain to you that being a skeptic is a good thing. I'm a skeptic. There's nothing wrong with um, questioning, you know, accepted opinions and those kinds of things. However, we don't want to be ignorant. We don't want to uh, be lacking in knowledge or awareness about anything in particular because, uh, you know, we want to be smart folks and all that kind of stuff. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of folks who buy into this FEMA camp nonsense are quite simply ignorant of the facts. They're just not looking hard enough because their own confirmation bias is stopping them from really digging into the subject and trying to find the actual answers. So with that, uh, this video that we're going to watch is uh, from Right Wing News. I use these guys because they're a pretty, they're fairly indicative of what a lot of these channels do. Um, if you take a look at the uh, description, you can see that they're not outright saying this is a FEMA camp. They're trying to put it in a way that makes it seem like, you know, could this be it? Is this the one? And, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, they also set the video to ominous music and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it's, it's really just kind of silly. But I think one thing that's important to notice is look down at the bottom of the screen and you'll see that the category that this video is um, filed under is entertainment. Okay, and, th and that's exactly how the, the proprietors of this video view this. They view it as entertainment. They don't actually believe this stuff. They're just trying to lead people astray. All right, so if we look at the date of this, this was June 23rd of 2016. That will come into play a little later on when I show you how easy this is to be you know, debunked. And with that, let's go ahead and watch the video. Okay guys, here comes an important point. Look at this sign. The sign was intentionally left out so that you couldn't see what the name of the facility was. That'll become important in a second.
Okay guys, so what did we learn from the video? We didn't really learn a lot. What we learned is this is a facility in Crockett, Texas. So I went to Google Maps and I pulled up Crockett, Texas. I found the water tower that was shown in the video and then I went ahead and started you know, looking around at the street view. And lo and behold, what did I find right here? I found the sign that was overlooked in the video. Overlooked intentionally, I might add. So I'm trying to zoom in here, trying to see what exactly it says so that I can find out more about this facility. So it says, what, Crockett State School or something like that? Let's get a little closer look. All right, Google Maps has an algorithm that kind of starts to shade these things out, but we can make out that it says Crockett State School, a facility of something. So let's do a Google search and see what we can find. Okay, one of the first results we see in Google is a local news station. This article is dated in 2011, and it states that the facility, the Crockett State School, uh, had been closed by the Texas Youth Commission because of budget cuts. Okay, so now we know why it's sitting, sitting abandoned. Let's see if there's any other news articles that might tell what it's going to be used for anytime, you know, here in the near future. Okay, we go back to the Google machine and we find some more results from a local news station here dated uh, 6 October 2017. And it says that the regional juvenile facility moving to old, the old Crockett State School building. And it's basically letting us know that this facility has uh, been brought back to life because it sat idle for a while and um, everything is all closed and done now according to Tom Lambert the executive director of the Crockett Economic Development. It says the city of Crockett in Houston County have partnered with Cornerstone programs to transform the old Crockett school into a new juvenile treatment facility. Alright so there we have it. That makes a lot of sense doesn't it? it makes a lot of sense as to why there are fences out there, as to why there are cameras, you know, uh, Constantino wire in areas where the kids could climb the fences. I mean, this is a very, very logical explanation for what this facility is and what it's going to be used for. Let's see if we can find any other updates. Okay, we've got another news source, Messenger-News, and uh, this is posted by Will Johnson on November 8, 2017. It says the city of Crockett is going to sell... Uh, this facility to the Crockett um, Independent School District as of November 6th. Okay, so if we go ahead and look a little lower in this article, what we see is that the Crockett City Council, by a vote of 3-2, agreed to sell the school to the Crockett Independent School District. And they did this after some back and forth. There was some different organizations that were uh, going to go in there for a while, uh, a place called Houston Serenity tried to move in, but Child Protective Services ended up pulling their license. And then finally, um, the Crockett Independent School District decided that they wanted to purchase it, and they're hoping to install a residential treatment facility. Um, There's also another organization called Brain Nation that wanted to, uh, which is a charter school that also had hopes of partnering with Hands of Healing. And um, so ultimately, as of you know, November of last year, the school is going, that old facility is going to be purchased by the Crockett Independent School District and then reopened as a residential treatment facility for uh, troubled kids and those kinds of things. So, you know, this is just how easy it is to debunk these kinds of videos. You can do this with just about any video out there that you find. So, um, hopefully that was helpful to you guys and uh, it doesn't take a lot of hard work to put some of this stuff to bed at all. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and when you do, don't forget to click the little bell button right there so you get notified from YouTube when the new videos come out. Alright guys, thanks a bunch and we'll see you shortly.